I am a mom, an entrepreneur, an author, and I speak often about the benefits of meditation, health, wellness, intention. Despite that being my career, and despite being the daughter of Deepak Chopra, who many of you know from his books and his media personality, I am hardly the poster child for wellness. In fact, um, I'm a chocoholic who is constantly struggling with sugar. I love Japanese whiskey. I am an irregular meditator. And frankly, I hate to do yoga. So, and I'm often dealing with feeling tired, overwhelmed, stressed, like I just can't do one more thing at the end of the day. A few years ago, I was speaking to a group of women about the benefits of meditation and how important it is to be present in any activity. And while I was talking to this group of women, I was actually having a parallel conversation in the back of my head that went something like this. I can't believe I had that chocolate chip cookie and double macchiato before getting on stage. I feel totally bloated and overwhelmed and sick. I haven't exercised for a month. Um, oh my God, I have to go get the dry cleaning, pick up the dog food, and I forgot to turn in my daughter's permission slip for school. In fact, the conversation in my head got so frenzied that I actually decided that I would ask the audience to meditate. That way I could deal with my own drama. <laughs> when we were young, my dad used to ask my brother and I certain questions after our meditation. Who am I? What do I want? How can I serve? As I guided my meditating audience in these questions, I had a sinking feeling. I am a mom, an entrepreneur, an author, and yet beyond the labels, I really had no idea who I was. I felt exhausted in my body and my mind. I felt confused with what I was doing in my life, and I think I felt unhappy, I think. So I made a decision on stage that day that I was going to explore what balance and happiness meant for me. And I spent the next year recommitting to practices that I had learned growing up and going and talking to experts, people like Marianne Williamson, Dan Siegel, Andrew Weil, Eckhart Tolle, about the meaning of purpose, intention, and how we lead a balanced life. But it was probably the first conversation I had that was the most practical. So, and this was with my father, Deepak Chopra. So our family had gone down to San Diego to visit my parents for the weekend. And um, as was pretty typical, my mom was cooking Indian food, my kids were watching a movie, my husband had gone for a run, and my dad was sitting at the computer on Twitter. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll go talk to my dad about kind of this confusion that I'm having. Now, I have to tell you, in my family, when every, any of us have a problem, we go to my mother. Everyone else in the world may go to my father, but in our family, we go to my mother. So this is actually quite unusual for me to go and talk to my dad. So my dad was at the computer and um, typing away, and I said, you know, Papa, I want to talk to you. And he kind of looked up mid-tweet, and I said, you know, I'm feeling exhausted, stressed. Maybe I'm burnt out. And I saw my dad pause, he looked at me, and then I saw utter panic in his eyes as he started to look for my mother to come <laughs> and deal with the situation. And I said, no, no, Papa, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just feeling like I need to figure out what balance means for me. And I literally watched my father go from utter panicked father mode take a deep breath and go into Deepak Chopra mode and say, okay, we can handle this. So he began to then tell me about the work of Dr. Dan Siegel, his mind-body platter, and what are the ingredients for a healthy physical, mental, emotional state of well-being. And together, my father and I came up with a balance wheel, a very practical tool that helped me break down where I was in my life and go from just feeling overwhelmed to thinking about practical steps for change. So I would like to do this balance wheel with you right now. So I ask if um, you have a pad of paper, your mobile devices, put everything away. 
and I'd like you to sit comfortably. If you are comfortable, close your eyes, and I'd like you to take a deep breath. In and out. And another breath. In and out. I'm now going to ask you a series of questions. I don't want you to intellectually answer the questions. Rather, I want you to just experience the answers. And as I ask the questions, just think, am I struggling? Am I surviving or am I thriving in this area? So best keep your eyes closed. We'll take another breath in and out. Here are the questions. Do I feel rested? Do I feel rested? Do I get enough sleep at night? Do I get enough sleep at night? Remember, am I struggling, surviving, or thriving? Do I eat enough healthy, vibrant foods? Do I eat enough healthy, vibrant foods? Do I move enough? Do I move enough? Do I have healthy relationships in my family? Do I have healthy relationships in my family, with friends, and in my community? Struggling, surviving, thriving. Do I enjoy my work and what I do every day? Do I enjoy my work and what I do every day? Do I feel financially secure? Do I feel financially secure? Do I get enough intellectual stimulation? on a daily, perhaps weekly basis? Do I get enough intellectual stimulation? Do I laugh and do I have fun? Do I laugh and do I have fun? Do I feel spiritually connected? Do I feel spiritually connected? And last but not least, do I have a sense of purpose? Do I have a sense of purpose? Now take another breath in and out. And whenever you are ready, gently open your eyes. We begin any journey with small steps, and then the larger vision falls into place. And this is what happened to me. I remembered that I had to listen. I had to ask myself what I needed and what I wanted and then I could begin to take action. You know, often we're so busy doing the same things every day, in and out, over and over again, taking care of everyone else in our lives that we forget to take care of ourselves. We actually forget to ask ourselves, what do I want? What do I want? Intents are very different from goals. Goals come from the mind. They have end tasks. Intents, however, represent our deepest desires, who we aspire to be as individuals, members of our families, of our communities, citizens of Mother Earth. Intents are our deepest desires, 
our deepest desires for health, happiness, connection, and inspiration. So I want you now to take another breath, deep breath. And I want you to think about what are the qualities in my life that I seek. Perhaps it is connection. Perhaps it is boundless energy. Perhaps it is a sense of purpose. So take a breath, set your intent, and now let it go. It is time. It is time for us to ask ourselves, what do I want? To know that we deserve joy, that we deserve connection, that we deserve health. It is time to be um, empowered to really live our lives with intent. So it is time. It is time. Thank you.